what is up dtube steam blockchain so today i want to do a quick video and talking about why vlogs has the most value of all content and uh, this is kind of like a fun topic to talk about i think because this is one of these things where you sort of only know about it after you've been doing it for maybe a year or two that is when you really see that yes vlogs is really the most powerful of all content and the reason is the reason is kind of simple the reason is kind of simple to be honest it's because it gives um like why is instagram popular for example instagram is the most popular app because it gives more data it's just images and now they're starting to branch off a little bit in, into video but it's never really going to be a full let's say video place so it's just more data it, it, and, and also the main reason is because it is it's the closest you can get to reality and uh, it's the closest you can get with the internet to sort of um, see a human the way you would in the real world yeah, because when you're perceiving a person, you're not just perceiving, you're not just perceiving what they're saying. You are perceiving their face, their eyes, their mouth, their nose, everything, the background, all of this a person perceives and it creates an experience. And all of this really adds up and is really, really important in a nuanced world that people can perceive an accurate image because these days it's very easy to fake images and it's very easy to create like misleading stuff especially now with the AI age you can create even more let's say misleading stuff and that's gonna amp, amp, up, the, amp up the value of vlog content it's, it's going to it's gonna have even more value because it's going to stand out because the, what's real is like, it's, it's always sort of going to stand out because it can kind of be a little bit shocking, you know, because there's so much, uh, there's so much look at me advertising, you know. So the real sort of stands out because the real is like, you don't have to do any edits. You don't have to do any modifications. <laughs> uh, the real is just real. And that's kind of cool. So... And also, it's as this. Someone that know, do vlogs, I know they're going to hang around. I know they're not like the next week are just going to go away. Or, yeah, that happens sometimes. But in general, they enjoy. They, they really enjoy creating uh, stuff. They really enjoy experimenting with stuff. And they probably will hang around. Well, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on. Uh, if, if I can't like like see a person, I don't really know what's going on. I don't know who they are. I don't know. I don't know what's up. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do, right? I mean, it's like it's hard. Like if if you have like technology, you want to see human beings, right? And you you sort of want to try to like figure out what sort of goes on. And if you can't see human beings. It gets very very challenging and if you don't have data coming in like you need like data first you need to share data and then you need to get data input uh, so all our five senses you need to like max get maximum amount of data to sort of be able to create um, the, the best like the closest perception to what actually is going on you know and this is gonna this is gonna be kind of interesting the next five years because this is like really when everything's gonna be mapped out. More data is gonna come in. People will be able to spot patterns. And uh, it, it's just like eventually everyone is gonna know everything. And that's just like, that's just data, right? Because data spreads. Like data is gonna be everywhere. Everyone's gonna know everything. And uh, that's just, and, and what you're gonna know, they, what you're gonna discover, of course knowing a human being and, and that experience that is still going to be unique right but
but all the service layer data or all the other forms of data that people thought was super big stuff in some ways it may be big stuff but eventually people is going to realize that well that was used to surface that was used to surface layer stuff and now let's try to dive deeper into the core and uh, that is what humans are going to do they're going to dive deeper into the core the core of who they are the core of uh, of what other people are the core of other people's being and the core of their own sort of being you know and uh, and and you need like you want clarity of perception right you want clarity of, of perception and this is uh, it's going to be easier to perceive stuff now especially in the next five years uh, with all these 4k cameras these front-facing video facing cameras like that they're so good like they're so good that finally you get closer to what actually goes on and finally you can actually see what goes on with the person what they're doing what they're not doing all of this so this is actually why vlog content is the most value right now because you can sort of start to see what people are doing and stuff like that and we have not you have not really been able to see it in the last 10 years you have not been able to see what people are doing or maybe they maybe they show a little bit uh, but it may, usually it's like very misleading you don't really know like maybe they it's just less it's just less information like less data like you you see like some some tiny things and you think that's the whole sort of reality of the human consciousness but it's not really like images it's just like I don't know it's just it's just boring it's just very very boring um, in this forest like you have more data than uh, than you can pack in text more data than you can pack in photos more data than you can pack in video but but with video you you at least get the most like you, you sort of start to max out sort of what you can what you can share and that's kind of cool so yeah i mean just regular vlogs are gonna be massive value uh and then and it, it becomes more value because when it's more high quality uh, it, it was something that maybe is seen as obvious um, but it becomes it doesn't become this vlogger thing it becomes natural it becomes like normalized in many ways where where when you need it like let's say a device you needed a vlogging camera or something like that <laughs> it was like this weird like category of people uh, but what I think is going to evolve into is when everyone has these like HD cameras uh, inside of their phone, inside of their own gadget, it's going to be so natural that it's like, you know, it's so natural. So you don't you you don't even think about it. Eventually, video you're probably not even going to consider the idea of video because it's just going to be normal or something like that. Who knows? Uh, I think it's also important. It's important to sort of be careful about the gimmicks or like people gonna try to sell like ideas. For example, the the virtual reality idea. Like I like to like play around with it. Like oh, we're gonna go into virtual reality and all this. Um, but you also have to be sort of careful because marketing is kind of powerful and people wanna sell you stuff. I mean. Uh, you have to be a little bit skeptical in some ways, like virtual reality, are we really going to do that? I don't really know, <laughs> I don't know, I mean it's like, I just don't know, um, especially not these big devices, um, maybe when we have smaller devices, it all comes down to like what kind of possibilities you may see start to open up in sort of um, the creation let's say, I mean if I just perceive stuff it seems like the more video I do, the more kind of clarity of perception I see, then the more videos I consume, the more sort of clarity of perception I can see, and the more you want to get closer to the source, and uh, you want to have even more clarity videos, even more detailed videos, even videos that goes into nuances and stuff like that. It seems like that is giving me an enhanced clarity of perception compared to just text, to just photos. That, 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 it almost doesn't give me anything now it almost doesn't give me anything 
uh, and so it's going to become more nuanced, I think, like perception and stuff like that. And it's really about seeing where other people are coming from and seeing what they're sort of doing. What are other people doing on a daily basis? Are they just entertaining themselves or are they, are they trying? Are they trying to do something? And in, in, in other pieces of content, it's of course amazing too. And uh, I think that, but I think it's almost like blogs in some ways can become like a base layer, which is like cement block or like the core foundation that if you have that one covered, you can build so much on top of it. Because in many ways, it's going to come down to like what kind of systems a human has built up into themselves, what kind of human being they have sort of created of themselves. And, and video in many ways helps, I think, create awareness around sort of that aspect. Like it's like it was always the same or it was always some, it was always there, but uh, video can sort of make someone become a little bit more aware of what was already there and I think that's great I think that's great so the way I envision a lot of like the internet based stuff in the future is like everyone is doing video if everyone is doing video wow that would be great I get data so much quicker like it's just it's just faster it's just faster you get data you understand concepts uh, deeper you understand things faster it's it's faster you save time and energy don't have to go over all these nonsense that already has been covered a million times. You can dive deeper into nuance fields. And then you can have fun on top of it. But it seems like people, in many ways, want to get the entertainment first before building.